Connect the PLC to the computer and check the connection. Type the ping command to the PLC's IP address to check the connection. Now, the computer and PLC have been successfully connected. Open TIA Portal software. Create a new project. Create a new device. Here, I'll use PLC S71200 with this device code. Hardware configuration for PLC. IP address set to default. This function allows full control. This function allows access from Visual Studio software. Create a new data block. Disable data block optimization for access from Visual Studio software. Add some tags as follows. Bit tag has bool format. Byte tag. Tag in integer format. Tag real numbers. Check and download the program to the PLC. Online PLC to check tag value. Open Visual Studio software. Here I use the 2017 version. Create new project. You go to our website to download the Dell file completely free. Download Dell file. Copy and paste into the folder containing the project.
Add reference file. Find the Dell file you just downloaded. Now, we have S7Net. Create a class that declares the tag of the PLC. Use this code for class. Tag format and tag order must be the same between Visual Studio and PLC. The tag name should also be the same. Add a 7-net library to project. Create a PLC declaration function and call the tag list class. The IP address of the PLC must be the same as the address of the PLC. Create text boxes to display tag values. The ID of the text box must be predefined. Follow me. Use this code for the tag scanning timer. Create a new timer. Set scan time to 1 second. Copy and paste this code into the timer. Set value for text box according to command.
Use this code for form loading. The function of this function is to initialize the connection with the PLC and turn on the timer. The timer name must be correct to avoid errors. Run the simulation and check the results. I will open Visual Studio and TIA Portal at the same window. Set some values for the tags. When the PLC value changes, Visual Studio also changes. We have successfully connected Visual Studio and PLC. Thank you. See you in the next lesson.